So as an LLC, limited liability company, they require that you keep everything separate, that you keep your personal finances different from your business finances. And that is really important because if you ever were to get sued and you were to claim, hey, I'm an LLC, I don't owe this, if the other lawyer on the other side is like really good and really sneaky and they find out that you've been kind of blending your accounts and just like taking your business, um, uh, business income into your own account, they can claim, nope, they're not operating as an LLC, you gotta pay up. So make sure you keep things separate. So there are a whole bunch of different options for banks you can get your account out. There's really no right answer. I started out with TD and now I'm at M&T, but really it just depends on the different features and what you like best and what works best for you. So unfortunately, uh, business checking accounts usually don't offer interest. So it's a little pain, but whatever. You just have to have your money sit there and not get any interest off of it, but that's just the way it is and they usually always charge a monthly maintenance fee unless you have a minimum balance in it. So for instance, M&T, if you're enrolled in the e-statements, they charge you $10 a month unless you have at least 1,500 at all times. And then so on and so forth, the numbers kind of vary a little bit, but just pick whatever's best for you. Generally, people like the lowest, so Chase is pretty popular right now. I use M&T just because there's one literally right across the street from me. <laughs> so that's another thing to make sure that they offer mobile banking and mobile deposits. Do you guys know what mobile deposits are? Do you use them? Isn't it like the best invention ever? <laughs> you literally take a picture of the check. You don't have to go to the bank. And what's also really nice is that you keep the physical check afterwards. So it makes like your records so much easier. But every once in a while, there is a mobile deposit limit. So let's say it's like 3,000 and you get a check for 4,000. You do have to go to the bank to deposit it. So you want to pick a bank that's pretty close to you. Also, if you ever get paid in cash, you need to physically go to the bank to deposit it. So there's a little chart on page 17 of the most major ones, the most popular ones. So you can kind of look through those, see which one you like best, see which one is closest to you, or you can do your own research with the chart on page 16.